Composer John Cage is one of those people whose work you either love or you hate. He's what the folks at Harvard, where he's lecturing this semester, call avant-garde, ahead of his time. Cage pioneered a musical form that he calls chance operations. That's the random groupings of words, music, and everyday sounds. The result is what Cage fans call art and attractors call drivel. You judge for yourself with Marcus Jones. I have slipped by. There is the spray of bug repellent. There is in the audience a baby's cry, a sound response. Probably the best thing the you could say about John Cage is that he's a genius, an experimental That's musician okay. without peer, a man who follows the beat of a different, ugly. if not peculiar brain, drummer. This is the John Cage telephone event, and you're invited to take part in the creative process, to become a portion of the event as it is happening. So, it is John oh. Cage. Yes. And it is the end. How are you? Probably the worst thing you could say about Cage, and many people have, is that he's a quack, a man who has made a career of composing nonsense. You're almost being rejected by the public as much as you're being accepted, don't you think? Well, by those who, who accept what I do, I'm not being rejected. And by those who reject it, I'm not being accepted. So it's not, it's not really in a balance. Uh, I accept it, so I have no, uh, no problem. And I think the result has been the opening of, of many doors for uh, many people, and perhaps even for the people who reject it. Last night's live creation on WGBH Radio's Chamber Works may sound strange to some people, but at least it was audible. His most controversial work was not. Titled Four Minutes and 33 Seconds, it was just that. Four Minutes and 33 Seconds of Silence, composed by John Cage. I often wanted this, uh, this piece played over a broadcast, either by radio or by television. No one would nibble. No one would do it. What would be typically considered wrong, it's also okay. It's just part of, of um, the music. I find that um, you can use your imagination a lot more. And you can use the rules that you've learned and also apply it with some more imagination. Are people supposed to understand you? Uh, I find there was a week devoted to my work at Wesleyan University last February, and I found that the young people understand me better than I do. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones. You're a music <laughs> fan. What do you think? He, he took my line. <laughs> he speaks for himself. That's our news. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carmen Fields. I'm Christopher Lyman. Good night. <laughs>